see. surface so I usually start by the way with the feet and normally would take her socks off and I wouldn't let her do it on a soft surface <coughs> like that so what would we expect to see or a likely sign of a person with patellofemoral problems in the feet <laughs> flat foot that's plain that's over pronation whatever you want to call it and I really can't tell there I would say she has got some decrease in the arc yeah perhaps hard to judge on that surface between the sock and the, she does, okay. So the next giveaway typically is to go around behind the patient and look at Achilles tendon and look for bullying. It will give you a much, it's much less subtle that you'll be able to see it. There's a firm surface for her to stand on. Actually, I don't know why you have me here. You've got all this stuff. You know. <laughs> That's not where the toys are. Okay. <laughs> And usually feet about six, eight inches apart, approximately shoulder height. Okay? Now, I don't know anything about her or her history, but a really good thing to do in this position before you even start other stuff, but it's an aggressive technique, is to do a single leg stance and see what chance what changes. So I'm going to have you pick up one leg. And by the way, we didn't look laterally, did we? So we should have had her, had her turn laterally. Anything change? Say louder. I think she rotated her femur internally. Yep. And females tend to overdo that. Right? That is the first giveaway and predictor for not the telfemoral disease is part of that. Because that when she rotates internally and takes her, you can stand on her feet. Yeah? Getting tired? What's, what's the drawn kid? You know, <laughs> ready for that? So that's going to, if she rotates her femur medially, going to take her patella laterally. So that's one issue for us. The second issue, though, is what do women do with cruciates? <laughs> Pair them, is that what you said? Yeah. That's correct. So that's a double-edged sword. Anybody that does that, and the next thing, if they can, and I actually do this a little bit later, is to ask them to do a single leg squat. So let's ask her to go ahead and do that since she's normal and healthy. Just a little mini squat and back. Where did she go? I can't see her forward, so you have to help me. Do it again. Yeah, she does go immediately, right away. So this is a gal that we would like to get on the prevention program already. <laughs> Just for her cruciates. Especially if we can get her when she's between 13 and 15 years old. One of the things that you'll see, <laughs> the wrong time, right? You can have them do the same thing with both legs, and both legs will go in, but it usually is accentuated when they're on one. Okay, It's less stressful for the patient to do both. So anything we're going to treat so far? Now, I don't want to bulk down in this, but anytime I see a leg going in, what structures might be tight? External rotators are going to probably be perhaps weak and long. So then you may be going to the W position and look at total arc motion and that kind of stuff, right? So in her case, we know that weak external rotators and weak hip abductors are potentially problematic for two pathologies that we want to address, patellofemoral and cruciate, right? Okay? What else might we suspect in this case? Deductors, maybe. I don't know. That's easy to assess, though, when we get her in a supine position. You said it earlier. What are Patella's doing? Medializing or lateralizing? I think they're lateral. In that resting position, I think they're medial. I think they're squinting. Right? So you'll see squinting Patella or frog-eyed Patellas. Right? Frog-eyes we usually see in a seated posture, so we'll look at that in just a moment. 
So anything else we want to, to note there? I'm pretty good with that. Turn laterally, please, or sideways so they can see from the side. And you said you are symptomatic? I, I have lateral fibrillation. On both knees? surface her, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think she is more medialized on the left patella than I do on the right. But I don't care about medialization usually with tracking, right? Everybody with me on that? I don't know if that's compensation.